in that deep rhythmic breath. Noticing if the breath catches anywhere, if it's flowing through you already. On the next inhale, let's bring the hands up high. Exhale, hands to heart center. So finding a visualization here. As you inhale, you see a beautiful golden light coming in through the nose, the nostril, into the chest, the heart space, down to the heart of the abdomen. And as you exhale, this light expands, filling every cell of your body. We take a few more rounds of breath here. Maybe this light radiates bigger and brighter beyond your physical body, filling your energy body, your aura. Filling up as you inhale and expanding as you exhale. So maybe this light starts to reach, filling the yoga deck, maybe it reaches across the ocean, the mountain, maybe it reaches all the way around the world, holding your family and friends, wherever they may be. Take a few more rounds of breath, really get comfortable with this visualization. On your next inhale, let's bring the hands out wide all the way up. And then take a forward fold to walk the hands out in front of you. So maybe um yeah, uncrossing your ankles if that feels good. Staggered, so one foot in and one foot in front. That's gonna just create that unbroken flow of energy. Every inhale, lengthen out of the hips, exhale, surrender. Breathing into the hips here. And you feel a slightly deeper stretch through one side of the glute. Mm. Lovely. Walking the hands in on an inhale. Let's start to warm up the spine. So bringing your hands to the, the leg there. Inhale as you flex forward, shoulders back. Exhale as you round the back. It's like a seated cat cow as well. So finding that nice deep audible rhythmic breath. Detoxifying. And you can close your eyes at any point throughout the practice, bring your awareness to your third eye, your brow point. And just listening to your body, so if you're guided to move in different ways, listen to your inner knowing. So we're expanding, opening through the chest, the heart space on the inhale. And the shoulder blades and the back on an exhale. So approaching a full moon this weekend is 
Virgo. So you might have been feeling those energies already this week building up. It's been pretty intense. By the peak, it should definitely settle down a bit. It'll be more grounded, more calm. Nice earthy Virgo. Lovely. Come back to centre. All right, let's get into a little bit of soup and grind here. So just take a moment before we start. Bring your awareness to Mula Banda, Uliana Banda, so the root lock, the navel lock. Just activating gently, lightly there. Lovely. And then bringing hands to knees. Let's come all the way around. Inhale at the front. Exhale at the back. So it's an isolation this midsection that we're going for. So at the moment we've got a bit of Leo moon. So it's solar plexus is nice. It's all about that fire energy today. Confidence, self-esteem, purpose. Courage. It's a nice creative detox in the internal organs as well, kidneys, liver. So anger, anxiety, fear. Transforming all those emotions, getting them up and out of the body. Inhale front, exhale back. Take it as wide as you like, and as fast or as slow as you like. Let's change the cross of the legs, so just bring the other foot in front here, and we'll take the other direction. Inhale, front, exhale. Awakening your inner belly dancer, or the serpent. more rounds. Lovely. Come back to the center. Let's reach the hands up. Inhale. Hold the breath and squeeze. Root lock, navel lock. Hold. Float the hands down. Take a moment there and still. Lovely. Let's get into a little bit of twisting here. So fingers in front, thumbs behind. Inhale as we twist left. Exhale as we twist right. Keep the elbows lifted. We're sitting up tall through the spine.
few more breaths. Keep twisting, but bring the hands up, thumb and finger touching. And come back to center, shake, 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 shake it all off. Let's extend the legs, give the legs a shake now. Mm. Maybe taking some shoulder rolls there, forwards and backwards. Lovely. Maybe some neck circles here. If it feels okay for you, just gently, slowly. Inhaling as you come back, exhale as you come forward. Great for stimulating the pituitary and pineal gland. Bringing harmony to the entire body. So let's bring right foot onto the left thigh, if that feels all right for you. You can always just bring it in to the thigh there. Just gonna um, stimulate some more of the meridians, like spleen and liver, I think it is, around there. Flexing the left foot towards you, so you've got a nice and active straight leg. Arms out, let's inhale as we lean back. Exhale as you reach towards the foot. So nice and strong in the core, active through that straight leg. Inhale back, exhale forward. On your next one, let's reach and hold. So with every inhale, lengthen out of the hips. <sighs> Staying nice and long through the spine. Mm. Lovely. So taking the left foot in the left hand now, let's open up for a nice twist, reaching that right hand back. So you can take a few breaths there, or you can take a bind, reaching around, so you can get those toes of the right foot. I need your Ujjayi breath here. back through center so let's cross so sticking with that right foot on top cross the legs here finding the cow face pose see how this feels for you so we're trying to get the knees one on top of the other and then sitting up nice and tall here just taking a few breaths there maybe you want to start leaning in exploring any sensations maybe sitting up tall is perfect today and then again you can stay right here or we can add some arms some eagle arms so wrapping one arm inside the other so you can reach all the way around palms together so you start feeling that really strong opening through the, the back of the shoulder blades <laughs> and then really roll those shoulders back and down breathing there and then you can even add a lift 
through the arms. So we're rolling the shoulders back and down, but we're lifting through the hands and arms. Releasing the hands there. So let's reach the left arm up and bring the hand down between the shoulder blades now. So you can use your other hand to press on that elbow or you can reach around for a bind if that feels good, if it's available to you. Otherwise, just keeping that hand on the elbow is perfect. Mm. Breathing there. some circles with the wrists and let's extend the legs out oh give them a shake <laughs> lovely we'll get ready for the other side so left foot on the right thigh right toes flexing towards you arms out inhale lean exhale reach so we're starting to feel some opening through the back of that leg Inhale back, exhale forward. And on your next one, let's reach and hold. Just using the breath to ease in. Hmm. Maybe you notice a slight difference between each side. Lovely. Then let's work into that open twist. So right hand in the right foot. Right foot. Reach back. Open it up. Hmm. Breathing now. Maybe a bind feels good. Your bind felt better one side, not the other. Mm. Okay, releasing that there, coming all the way around. Let's slide that foot underneath, so finding cow face pose. So stacking the knees. Taking a moment there to find a tall spine. Relaxing through the shoulders, the face. Maybe leaning in for a forward fold. Coming back up. So just exploring here if it feels good to find those eagle arms this side. So again, rolling the shoulders back and down, really working them away from the ears, feeling that deep stretch between the shoulder blades. And then as you roll them back, maybe you can sift up through the elbows and hands, feeling that real opposition. releasing and then we'll reach up with the right hand bring the right hand between the shoulder blades ah. so maybe hand on the elbow feels good or maybe reaching all the way around for a bind is feeling better for you today and if 
cow face pose doesn't feel good, it can always just be an easy pose. And releasing that there. Lovely. Extend the legs, give them a shake. All right, let's swing the feet around. Come to sitting on heels if that feels good. Or you can stay an easy pose here as well. That's another option. So pose together, bring the heels out wide so you make a little seat. And we'll do a little bit of Kapala Bhati today. Um, let's use ego eradicator. So fingers tucked in, thumbs pointing to each other, and arms up at a V. So really focus on relaxing through the shoulders and the face here. And it's a short, sharp pumping of the navel center. So drawing in and up as you exhale. Inhale, be passive. You kind of focus is like three fingers below the navel, but it, this whole area is going to be moving. And ego eradicate is a nice one to just get out of the ego, bring us into the heart space. All right, when you're ready. thumbs together, open the fingers, take one more deep inhale, this time hold the breath, squeeze, hold, squeeze through the spine, the root, the navel, feel the energy rise up the spine, exhale, float the hands down, Take a moment there in stillness. Notice your heartbeat. Slowing and deepening the breath once more. Lovely. Let's walk the hands out. Finding a child's pose here. So you can bring knees wide or knees close together. Whatever feels good for you. Ah. Really sending the tailbone towards the heels, finding that length through the spine. So knees close together, you'll get a deeper stretch through the sacrum, so just be aware of if that's what you're looking for or if that's too much for you. Ah, melting the heart, the chest towards the earth. Ah, surrender there. Mm, maybe taking a luxurious sigh. Three more deep rounds of breath here. Lovely. When you're ready, pressing into the palms, tuck the toes, hips high, down the dog. Uh, take a few breaths there. Let's check the body through. So fingers are wide, palms back. Shoulders rolling back away from the feet. Chest pressing through for the back. And do always just feel free if you feel like being in child's pose or anything else. Take a rest, take a whatever feels good. and walking the feet up towards the hands whenever you're ready let's hang there 
So a bend in the knees, maybe the abdomen rests on the thighs. Feel that lovely length through the spine. Oh. Maybe a sway there. Oh, maybe a nodding or shaking of the head feels good. And feeling nice and grounded through the feet, roll all the way up on vertebrae at time. Head comes up last. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, hands in the heart center. Oh, lovely. All right, let's take a little Reiki shower, a little energy shower. So find a nice, a good strong mountain pose we'll start with. So really bring your awareness to your feet. Pressing the balls of the foot feet into the earth, into the mat. If you're picking up the toes, pressing them, activating Padabandha. Nice, strong, deep connection with the feet, feeling grounded. And then drawing up through the center of the foot, like a suction cup. So this helps to start activating through the core and the, uh, the abdomen a little bit there as well. And the shoulders back and down. Close your eyes here and start to visualize as you inhale. A beautiful white light coming into the chest, into the heart of the abdomen. And as you exhale, this light reaches all the way down through your feet into the earth. So maybe this looks like roots, maybe it's a silvery light, or see whatever, however it feels, however it looks to you. It's feeling nice and grounded and connected. With a few more breaths. You see these roots growing through the mud, the rocks, if it reaches all the way to the molten core of the earth, tapping straight into the heart of Gaia. And then you inhale and draw that energy back up into your tummy. So you're accessing that beautiful source energy, that earth energy. And let's bring the hands up overhead, palms towards each other, a couple of inches apart. So breathing here deeply. Maybe you move hands apart and closer together. And start to see a beautiful white silvery ball of light in your hand. Maybe with every breath it starts radiating bigger and brighter. Maybe it starts to feel like magnets. You feel that magnetic energy between your hands. Let's take a couple of rounds of breath to explore that sensation. And when you're ready, turn your hands down over yourself and you see this light cascading now over your body, through your body, like a waterfall or a shower or a beautiful rainstorm. Cleansing for yourself. And just washing away anything that you've been holding on to that you're ready to let go of, anything that's not serving you anymore. Your higher self knows what it needs to or is ready to let go of. Slowly bringing your hands down the front of your body, a couple of inches away, all the way back down into the earth. 
to release all that energy back for transformation. Find a balance pose. Let's get into tree today. So bring your weight into your left foot, drawing up through the thigh, the knee, and when you're ready, bring that right foot in to the thigh or the lower leg, just not on the knee. Maybe a kickstand feels good today. So as you press the foot into the thigh, into the leg, feel the leg pressing back. So that nice strong balance. So the weight's really over that standing leg. Quite tough to pair this leg. Find a point to gaze at. Exploring with your branch roots now. Feel strong and grounded in your roots, but flexible. Strong balance, you can explore closing the eye. A few more breaths there if that feels good, or coming down whenever you're ready. They roll over that standing foot, releasing any tension you have. Right. Let's take the other side. So grounding through the right foot, drawing up through the kneecap, the thigh, and when you're ready, pressing the foot into the leg, leg pressing back. So lengthen through the tailbone, so you've got that nice tuck. Lovely. Finding a point to bring that. Deep Ujjayi breath that really helps in the focus. Coming all the way down, rolling over. All right. So let's get into a little bit of lion's breath today. So we'll take an inhale through the nose, and then as you exhale, stick the tongue out as far as you can, like all the way down to your chin. Close your eyes if that helps, or just gazing up. Um, just yeah, get as silly as you like, roar as loud as you like. It's nice for the egoless yogi as well, and. Also loads of health benefits, you know, with this endocrine system, glands, immune system. So yeah, just to get as silly as you like. And what we'll do is we'll do some goddess pose. We'll step out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, when you're ready. We'll do a little bit of windmill here. So planting the feet, drawing up through the knees and thighs. So if you're nice and active and strong through the front, you're gonna um, just open up, open up a bit better at the back. Arms out, take an inhale here, and then we'll exhale as we come down. Inhale as we come up. So stay strong in the core. Um, let's go.
nice and strong in your base. center inhale and then exhale forward bring the hands down let's take a couple of breaths here so every inhale lengthen out the hips exhale surrender deeper keep drawing up through the kneecaps and thighs the front of the legs Bend into the knees, hands to the hips, inhale, come all the way up. Ah, Alright, let's take a little yogi squat here. So bring the feet in a bit wider, so just about as wide as your mat, toes pointing out. And then sit the hips down, finding your yogi squat. hands to heart center just engaging being a little bit active through that root lock so we're not just sinking in here we're active and strong <laughs> you feel all right <laughs> taking a couple of breaths there so you can stay right here or you can find a twist bringing one hand to the earth other hand up bind if that's in your practice if that feels good and then taking the other side back to center all right and then all right so let's get into some just throw pose yeah we want to practice a little bit of throw pose so bringing the hands down Come onto the balls of the feet so you can get your hips nice and high. And then knees come in as far as you can up. I mean, every body is different, so you're gonna find your sweet spot. But if you can bring them as close as you can up towards your armpits. And then lean in, bring one foot up, and then the other, just explore that a little bit. And if it feels good, bring both feet up, squeeze them through the core, lifting them towards your Yeah, just explore a little bit there. Maybe one there. Keep gazing out in front so you're not just looking down, but towards the end of your mat.
So just coming back down. Um, so let's get into a little bit of inversion. So Yogi's choice here. You could just come all the way down and then legs up, feet up to the sky. Or you could work into your bridge pose, bring feet close to your hips, rolling all the way up. Inhale. Work the shoulder blades together. So you're really coming onto the shoulders there. Or if a shoulder stand is in your practice, you could bring, come all the way up into your shoulder stand. If anyone want to practice headstand. So if you're in your shoulder stand or your bridge, just keep your neck neutral. So keep gazing towards your knees or your feet. Don't look to the sides. Protect your neck. Lovely. Taking a few breaths there. Yeah, working those elbows together if you're in your shoulder stance. Really working the shoulder blades together as well so you can really come up onto the shoulders. Lovely. Lovely one for the lymphatic system, your immune system. Slowly roll down with control. <laughs> and then bring knees into the chest, give yourself a heart whenever you're ready. If you feel like coming into a fish pose to counter those shoulder stands, bring the palms underneath the glutes, forearms as close together as you can, and then lift up through the chest, resting on the forearms, drop them like that. So the head barely gazes them, grazes the mat here, it's all on the forearm. Exploring a couple of our movements there. And then making your way to final relaxation. I'm going to sit up so you can hear me, but you just surrender there, close your eyes, if that feels good. Slight tuck of the chin to find length through the back of your neck, roll the shoulders back and down. Mm. Ankles are soft, feet drop out gently to the side. And you can completely let go of controlling your breath. 